Yes, it's live, baby. We we locking up deals live. Yes. What up? What up? What up? What up? And we got somebody to say yes to terms. Look at that. Did you look at that? He said yes to terms. So I'm going to get his email address, send him over that LOI, just like I do everybody. Can you hear me? I don't know. If you don't know who I am by now, I don't know what you've been doing. You've been asleep? Let me wake you up with something. Straight up. Yeah. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the O-E. I flip houses, rent cars, and make money. You know I'm not no motherfucking dummy. This is how we do Gonna find out. So this is in a great area. The only elephant in the room, though, like I said, is can we rent it? Or does it have to be a homeowner occupied? I should have asked him to check into that. Matter of fact, that was his homework. I like to give him homework. I, I, after he sends his email, I will send him that to say, find out if you can rent this or it has to be owner occupied. Then I'll get him that offer and see if we can make a deal. So for those that don't know, my name is Chris Monroe. It's the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. I'm out of St. Louis, Missouri. I'm doing some calls today, talking to homeowners, trying to see if we can uh, strike a deal and uh, pay a bill. So we're going to keep it going here. I think I got a couple more. Any questions, comments, concerns about that particular property with Thomas? Spoke to. Not interested in terms. And if you notice, the way I pitched the terms is third party story. And it's kind of too early, you know, sometimes, and this can happen on an on-market deal as well. A, a person can have a property they just listed today and they're motivated. Yes, yes, I'm going to sell it for 300 million. And then time goes on and as time wears on them and it shows them that no, you're not getting 300 million for your house. They come around and come back to me and think about that cash offer. Think about that creative offer. It's an offer. I don't know if anybody else sent them anything in writing. That's why I like to send something in writing so I can stand out from the rest of the competition. Let him know he's dealing with a professional and we can actually help him solve this problem pretty easily. You know, I don't know if he's going to get that 575. He's trying to, uh, that's really too much to be honest. Matter of fact, I don't even think I'm going to give him 550. I would give him probably 540 or something on terms. 535, 540 on terms. That's what I think I would do on something like this. So that's what we got, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see who else we got here. Uh, we got a house in Jennings. Uh, let's see here. So we got a house on St. Cyr over in 63136. Motivation, just looking at other business ventures. Uh, he's got a tenant in there paying 950. Let's say yearly. It must mean 950 a month. Time frame is ASAP. They do have a mortgage. They don't know what they want to sell it for. The Zestimate says 86. Creative Financing says wants to know how long it will take. So, oh, this might be something good here. They, they are open to having a conversation on a creative deal. And we're going to see what we can do here. Three bedroom, one bath. So let me see here. A disgruntled landlord, it sounds like. They don't look like a bad looking house. Have I spoke to this guy? All these houses start to look alike after a while. Is that bad? <laughs> All right. Uh, so selling time frame is ASAP. Let me see something here. Let me check a, another little resource. Let's see what he owes on his house since they didn't tell. Over on St. Cyr. Um, let's go to, what is it called? Prop wire. Proper. Again, with some quick research before we call them. Since they indicated they were looking to sell. Uh, 
let's see here. So when I put this property in, there it is, boom. All right, so this is owned. What's the guy named? Trevor. Let's see, is that the owner name? Yep, this is the owner, so this is not a wholesaler. We got the real person who owned property. Um, and looks like they owe about 50000 on it. They bought this house back in 2021. Payments are three fifteen a month. Damn. That's probably just count tax without the taxes and insurance, but still, that's pretty cheap. Three fifty one a month. I'll take that payment over. He wants to sell it for. We don't know. So he's got thirty five percent equity. That's good. So approximately according to this. So we got something here. We might have a deal. Let's see how he's talking though, because you know it don't make no difference. They could have the best house and the best everything, but how are they talking? What are they sounding like? Are they talking stupid? Or are they talking good? Hey, Chris, so let's give him a call, Mister Trevor. So give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share if you care. Let's call Trevor. Hello. Hey, Trevor, this is Chris. How are you today? Uh, good, how are you? Good, good. Did you get the house sold on uh, St. Cyr yet? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, I was interested in buying it. Uh, I was just trying to see um, what I can do to try to make it a smooth transaction for you. How are you doing today? Uh, good, how are you? All is well. Um, it looks like you spoke to my assistant a few days ago about it, uh, but she has something mm -hmm. in here said that, uh, let's see here, I guess you have a tenant in there paying nine fifty a month. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Perfect, perfect. Is that like a Section 8 tenant or a traditional cash tenant? No, it is a, a Section 8. Section 8? How's and that been the, going? Uh, oh, uh, it's, it's all right. I mean, yeah. It's the yeah. typical issues of calling the department, but it's all good. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I never uh, dealt with Section 8 before. I always get either cash people or other stuff, so I, I never hear much bad about Section oh. 8. Yeah, no, that's not bad. As long as they pay every month, right? <laughs> right, yeah. Cool. Is this the only one you're looking to sell? Uh, at, at the moment, yes. Okay. So, let's see here. So, it says no repairs needed. And how much are you looking to get for the house? I'd, uh, hey, Chris, I'd like at least 50 I know the market around that area is a little kind of, it's not really consistent from house to house. Yeah. It's kind of all over the place. Uh, so, so if we yeah. came in at 50000 would you be ready to get the process started and sell your house today? Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah, I was asking if we came in at 50000 you're telling me you're ready to uh, sell your house today? Uh, yeah, I would, I would, yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd say so, I was, want, I was trying to push for 55, but, and honestly, if you just, if 50 does work for you all, I, I would be open to that. Okay, yeah, um, it doesn't seem too far off from where we probably were going to need to be at, um, and then, okay, and then, how much did you still owe on it? Uh, 50. Oh, so you're just trying to pay that loan off? Is that what it is? Yeah, pretty much. I'm just I'm working on my uh, active business right now. So it's the the rentals are kind of an afterthought. And the uh, rental, uh, that uh, rental, um, the monthly rent price is way low for that current, the current market over there for Section 8 as well. It hasn't been raised since I bought, bought it from the previous owner that had that set at that price. 
Yeah, I was wondering about that. I thought that seemed kind of low. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I, I bought these things when I was like hardly tw- like what, 21, 22. I didn't know what I was getting into. So I, I didn't understand the whole Section 8 thing about the the time restraints on like having to uh, ask to raise their rent. So I, I didn't know about it the first year and the second year. I just I missed the uh, their little their window for it. So I didn't know if they were going to keep it as a rental or not. But How much longer is the uh, lease that, on the person that's there? Uh, it just got signed. So what's the uh, year or? This month. It's a one year. Yeah, that section is one year leases typically. So June of 2025 is when this one is out? Correct. Okay. Um, and so you're basically not going to make anything if you sold it this way then, right, Trevor? Uh, Correct. But I also know like the... the kind of seeing the values over there and other offers I'm just I'm, I'm okay with just if I only come out breaking even on it it's, I'm okay with that if it can make the transaction easy so you want to sell a good what, house for the price so you want to sell it for what you owe on it is that what I'm hearing yes okay yeah I mean I definitely I'm interested in it um and the tenant there, they just signed a new lease and it's nine fifty a month. And the house doesn't need any repairs, is that right? Uh interior there's nothing uh so structurally everything I've done all the repairs as far as like structural work. I, I think I uh, I think they might have took notes when they called last time. But um they're they're outside, there's probably some cosmetics like a um the, the dry, I'd say the driveway. If you were going to pick one thing that needs to be done next, it'd probably be the driveway. But as far as inside, it, I mean, it got fresh paint and stuff after some repairs. Uh, foundations all repaired, um, newer roof, yeah. um, put on right before I bought it. So I, I, you're probably looking at some cosmetics on the outside. Would be your, would be the um, only things I could say. So as far as like repairs to be livable, there's nothing. So it's just a driveway. Is there a garage here? Uh, no, there's not. Okay. Well, uh, Trevor, there's, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think what would be the best way here. I'm thinking, um, well, what we've done in the past in situations like this is we would uh, buy the house and uh, we structure mm-hmm. a deal where we could just take over the payments. Is that something you think you would consider? take over the payments uh, just like the mortgage payments and all that like I yeah so basically um, what, yeah what we would do is uh go through title just like any other transaction we would buy the house um, okay. the only thing is we would leave mm-hmm. that loan in place and we would continue making that payment each okay. every month taking full responsibility of the property maintenance repairs property management that tenant anything that deals with that house you will no longer have to deal with it uh, you would basically be free to go and do work on your other businesses. I mean, you think that would help you out at all? I mean, uh, is there any contingencies saying, uh, having y'all back out of it that would lead y'all to back out of, the, out of that? Or would it be... Oh, no, we wouldn't back um, out. We would we would buy the house. We would take take yeah. over the property. We do it all but, the time. Okay. Um, so everything's transferred to you but the loan would still be in my oh, okay I'm, I'm not aware of how these work would the loan still be in my name that is correct so we would leave that loan in place because say if I was to go borrow 50000 to buy this house right I would go get a loan right. go through the process go through the appraisals go through all that red tape and finally mm-hmm. I would go get a loan to pay off your loan and the only people to make money in that transaction is the people making the loans so in a situation like this, we may be able to structure so we can put a little something in your pocket where you can actually not just, you know, sell it and get zero for it. You know what I mean? We can put something in your pocket and just take over that loan that you already got in place. And we just take over maintenance and repairs and everything from there. Um, okay. I, I, I'd possibly be interested in that. Yeah. 
So what um, I can, what I can do here, Trevor, is I'm going to send you something in writing so you can you know have it in writing so you can look it over, see if that's something that works good for you. Right. If it does, we can go ahead and get the process going. Um, let me see here. And I'm going to text you right after this call, my name and company information and everything. And then uh, if you just okay. write back your email address, I'll get that over to you today. And uh, you can look it over. And if it makes sense to you, we can get that going for you today. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So the only thing I would need from you too is, are you able to get me the most recent mortgage statement for this house? The mortgage statement? Uh, Yeah. Or like a yeah, screenshot or something. We're just trying to basically verify, you know, the monthly payments, escrows. Is that what is the monthly payment on the house? Uh, it's oh shit. Um, I can't tell you off. I think it's like in the it's like four hundred something. I believe I, I just got insurance uh changed over, so it's a little lower. So I I think it's in fours now. Uh, per month. Um, I, can you mind if I send it to you uh, tonight? Or I, once I'm done working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. And so that four hundred that okay. includes the taxes and insurance. Uh, yeah, it's like it's like high fours. It's it's under five, I believe. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, that's um that's everything. Yeah. One hundred percent. And then yeah. Maybe, okay. So yeah, I'm going to text you after this call. If you just write back your email address, I'll get you everything over in writing that breaks down exactly what I'm speaking about. And then if you can send me that mortgage statement this afternoon, that would be great. We can get this process going. You can be done with this house as soon as the title work is done. Wouldn't that be easy? Uh, yep. Yeah, sounds good to me. Other than that, any other questions for now before I let you go? Uh, no, that'd be it. All right. That'll work. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Yes, it's live, baby. We we locking up deals live. Yes. What up? What up? What up? What up? And we got somebody to say yes to terms. Look at that. Did you look at that? He said yes to terms. So I'm going to get his email address, send him over that LOI, just like I do everybody. And then we're going to uh, get him under contract. We're going to buy that house. 50000 Take over payments of 400 and some dollars a month. Already got a tenant in it paying 950 on Section 8. Slam deal, but slam dunk deal. That's what I want to say. Slam dunk deal. What you think about that? You never know. I'm glad I called him. So let me put this in my notes here. Spoke to. Uh, and I'm gonna put him in a hot bucket over here hot bucket we gotta follow up with him quickly um, put him in here as a follow up for that that so yeah what'd you think about that call you think that was something that was cooking or was he just looking I think he was cooking I think he was cooking Whip it up, whip it up. We're gonna set the re reminder. Uh oh, the date must be set. We're gonna set this for tomorrow at 9 a.m. And I'm gonna reminder, create task. Boom. So it's gonna email me to remind to follow up with him tomorrow morning. But that, my friends, is how you do it. You call him up, ask some questions, figure out what they're looking to do. He's willing to sell it for what he owes on it. Let me see what this house is worth. Uh, this is almost too good to be true. I shouldn't be too excited. Let me calm down. Woosa. Woosa. But yes, we are live. Live and in full effect. We live, baby. We outside, baby. All right, let's see here. This house is on where? St. Cyr. It's got a Section 8 tenant. Um, what else? He, want, he said, I can take over the payments. And he didn't want anything. He wanted to sell it for what he owed, but I'm going to give him something. I always give sellers something. I don't really like to take their house for free. Give them a little something, even if it's 500 bucks. 
I'd rather go something. Uh oh. I lost my thing here. I was trying to see. Uh oh, okay. Let me do a quick research. What is this house worth in real life? Is it worth something? Are people gonna sell it for 50 on terms that he bought back in 2021? Come on, home. Let's do this thing, Trevor. He sounded like he was asleep a little bit. I thought he was gonna be like, oh, I'm tired, I can't do it. I'm not now. I guess he at work. Uh, let me put this address in real quick and see what we find. So the estimate says 71,000 on Redfin. So a house just sold over there, a two bedroom, one bath on the same street just sold in February for 70,000. Another one sold for 64,000, another one sold for 82, another one sold for 64, another one sold for 55. So yeah, if we get it at 50 on terms with equity, come on home y'all, what we doing? Are we playing or are we slaying? Are we playing or are we slaying? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. So as long as he sends me that mortgage statement, as long as he sends me his email address, we can get this ball rolling. Any questions, comments, concerns? Put your questions in now before we land this plane. Put your seat in the upright position because we are coming to a landing. Go ahead and fold that tray up and uh, we're about to descent. You came in late, but the call sounds good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Good call. So yeah, we are all the way live here on YouTube, Facebook, Rumble, I think, and uh, some other places. So I think this is what we're gonna do, y'all. We got potentially, let's see, Patrick with the land we gotta talk to. That was the first lead we spoke to earlier. We got uh, the wholesaler, I'm not really worried about him. We got the guy with the villa. So we possibly got three leads or three think leads were working i guess we should say from today's calling session um, today's video was brought to you by future cash flow club that's who it was brought to you by future cash flow club so those of you that's like oh how do you do this how do you find sellers how do you talk to sellers how do you structure deals how do you do all this stuff how do you get the paperwork to make the paperwork how do you assign the deal you can learn all that and more with the training we train on this stuff all the time so check it out at future cash flow club so I want to get into real estate, but don't know where to start. Well, what I would say is to join the Future Cash Flow Club. It's a community of investors where we talk about wholesaling. We talk about creative deal structuring, buying houses subject to all of the creative stuff that everybody's talking about. You don't need a real estate license or any of that. Wow. Where do I sign up? Well, I would say go to futurecashflowclub.com. That's Future Cash Flow club.com you can even get a free trial try it out today are you looking for the best dialer to reach your leads try online burnerphone.com you can reach four times more contacts per hour and build a stronger more engaged pipeline now when you check this out at online burnerphone.com you no longer have to listen to voicemail recordings once you hear they pick up by voicemail you simply press a button and it leaves your personalized voicemail for your prospect you can also send personalized emails you can also retarget your contacts and guess what all calls are recorded and tracked for quality and training purposes try it out today with no credit card onlineburnerphone.com onlineburnerphone.com So that's what we got, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to say thanks to everybody that's been watching and, uh, you know, taking copious notes. I might chop up some of this video um, so that uh, cause some of these calls were good. I think that last call was a pretty good call. Uh, I think that's going to be a deal. If I can get Trevor to do the things I tell him to do, we're going to make a deal out of that. So we got the guy with the land. We got the guy with the villa for 550. And then we got Trevor here. Let me write this down here in my notes. Trevor. So potentially three deals that may be deals we just need to get that black ink on white paper on the purchase and sales agreement and make the deal work so hopefully you have a good rest of your day do what you do be who you be and i'll see you 
before you see me. Can you hear me? I don't know. If you don't know who I am by now, I don't know what you've been doing. You been sleep? Let me wake you up with something. Straight up. Yeah. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the O-E. I flip houses, rent cars, and make money. You know I'm not no motherfucker dummy. This how we do. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. Get your free real estate joint venture agreement and get notified of upcoming shows. Text JV to 636-330-1444. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. Look up phone numbers and email addresses with ease with pricing as low as only 15 cents per match, not per search, per match. If there's no number or email address, you don't pay. Get accurate data in just minutes. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's WokeSkipTracing.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you cold call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more all automated. You don't have to remember anything. Just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, wokereply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, wokereply.com. That's wokereply.com. 